Yo Swaggers, my name is Benji and today I want to welcome you to Minecraft. That is something I didn't expect to say these days, but yeah, I played this game like six to eight years ago during the early beta days and I know a lot has changed. I've seen a few playthroughs, like small parts of it, so I know there's bees now and such. So uh, I'd love to dive into a new Minecraft survival playthrough and explore it all with you here. First things we're gonna do, let's create our world, quite simple as that. Game mode survival, yes, difficulty is gonna be on hard. I'm not gonna go for hardcore yet. I don't feel like I'm ready for that. I think I'll die like pretty early on, but I'll survive as long as possible without doing so. I've got no data packs installed. I've got one mod installed that is Optifine to improve just how the game looks in general. Together with one resource pack, which is Fateful. I'm gonna link both of those in the description. Fateful just makes the game look with the same vanilla graphics, but a bit more HD on the block, so yeah, you'll see in game what I mean. Create new world, that's basically the start, let's dive in. Here we go, it's starting, oof, this feels great. Looks like I've got something new around me because I don't remember these biomes. I recall this stuff only happening in jungles where they've got like these huge tree branches, but apparently that's something that changed, most likely not even recently. We've got some sheep, so that's good for a bed. Let's hit some sheep so that we can actually make a bed later on. That's something I do remember. They give meat as well. I didn't remember that, but apparently that's a thing. There we go. And if I recall correctly, we need like them of the same color the wool, because otherwise the bed won't make. So let's take the white sheep instead. There we go. And the next thing we're gonna get is the wood, of course, because we all know the generic start of Minecraft, which I so nostalgically love. Punching some woods with, well, not our bare hands, with some with some wool blocks instead. I think I've got enough to really get started already, but I will take the whole tree down for my OCD, otherwise it's gonna be floating here forever. There we go. Around us we start off in somewhat of a forest bottom, I'm gonna take a look in a second. Looks like we've got some flatlands as well, some horses over there. And this biome, I don't know what that is, seems like a more dense tree biome, perhaps more dangerous because in those you've got sunnier areas so that monsters that spawn at night probably don't stay alive, but here you've got plenty of shelter not to burn during the day. I'd expect them to survive more in those areas. I think I'll go ahead and start off with a workbench here because we've got some sheep here, some pigs, <laughs> those are not sheep, and if we can get it started here then I can slaughter them very peacefully to get some early food going together with the mutton we already have. I'm just gonna casually dig a hole. That's uh, the story of my life. Let's create a beautiful, oh, too early, a beautiful pickaxe of wood. We'll only use it once, but yeah, it's part of the game. I hear a spider, but I think it's gonna be underground. Oh boy, zombies already as well. This is a scary sod. I need three of them, then I can get out of here. Perhaps five. Just for ideal circumstances, getting a sword as well. Five, there we go. Let's do some more. I need a furnace as well. I want to be prepared. I'm pretty sure they're like pretty close. So I don't want to dig too far down. Don't want to fall into a cave yet. It's too early for that. And I think we've got enough. Eight plus three plus two, there we go. Let's start off with stone pickaxe. Priority number one. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more sticks to start off with a sword as well. That's perfect. And I think I'm also gonna go ahead... Mm, I'm gonna get three more just so we can afford an axe as well. We've got enough for a furnace as well then. That's the start I've got in my mind. There we go. And is it like this? Yes. I'm gonna take that down. And we're gonna try and take the lives of these beautiful pigs. There we go. I know that the hitting animals and just like everybody has changed into not spamming the button. Sorry kid, you have to die. Oh boy, my aim, my aim. He doesn't give anything, so it's not worth it to kill the little ones. I swear I keep hearing a zombie here. Ooh, we've got some caverns, perhaps it's under here. Hello? Anybody out here? Ooh, that 
felt very close. I'm gonna go ahead and just casually take this coal. This would work on coal, yes it does. I think we'll need to use the stone on iron though, because otherwise it's not gonna work. But we at least have some torches now, so... That's our first priority taken down. There we go, I think that's the final one. Yes! Should I explore this more already? I think I should. Don't need to spend too much yet, but... I think it's a good idea. I hear lava already. Is it down here? Yes! Ooh, we've got our first... Fall beast out of the depths of hell here. There we go. First slaughter of the day, Monster Hunter. Ooh, there's plenty to explore. But I think I'll try and keep it simple and casually take home this beautiful iron. Great start for us. Start off next to a beautiful cave. Oh boy. I keep hearing them, so I knew he was coming. No hits yet. We're doing pretty decent, not gonna lie. Iron as well. And then we can get started pretty properly to the top, or should I? I think I'll try and make a bit of sticks again. Just to make sure I can get some more of these. There we go. And now I should be able to afford to go deeper into this cave a bit, but I think they're up there somewhere. Or up here, actually. Let's take a look at the world. We've got... A beach over there, we've got horses over here, pumpkins, that's a good start. Mushroom trees, for what that is supposed to mean, I'm not sure yet, but they're mushroom trees, so I'm not going to be complaining too much. But I do want to pick up some of these. I wonder if we can get seeds from the actual pumpkins, because if we can, then we've got an infinite supply, but going to make sure I've got a, qu a few ready for now. Although I'm not overly sure what we can do it with it yet. So, um, let's go for a bit of an adventure, let's try and run around a bit, and worst case scenario, once it goes dark, we can hide underground a bit, and yeah, take out the night that way. Here we go, chickens. I won't hurt the little one this time, there we go. There we go, and the final one over here, that's good. Three raw chicken, we're good on food at the moment, the mutton, the pork chops, the chicken... We've got a really nice spot here, I think, to build something, but yeah, I think this is a nice spot, to be honest. Next to the ocean, we can explore that way, and it's also not too restrictive on that area, because if you go inland and make something there, then you can't just explore out of your own continent that you're on. This would be a great spot, I say. I think I'll mark this one, and perhaps we should already start with a simple build, but I think I'll need to get some more wood first, because I would love to get a first spot of the house above ground. And I won't do it with birch wood, so let's get some normal wood instead. Is that a horse or what is that? Is that a donkey? This game has donkeys? I did not know that. That's crazy. I did not know that at all. Anything special out here? Probably not, just some beachy area. But we've got quite a few wood already. I think I'm going to start off with the first parts of our little house. I'm going to be doing a throwback for this one. I think that I watched YouTube quite a lot in the past. And I think around 2011, 2012, 2013, I was watching Minecraft videos like you are right now if you're watching this video. And I had some of those uh, YouTube idols I kept on following. And one of those was Chimney Swift. And the first thing he did was build something he called a Pueblo. I'm not sure a Pueblo in real life looks like that, but that's exactly what I'm going to be trying to build right now. That is a uh, one, two, three. And I'm going to do it right here as well. There we go. One, two, three. Here we go. And on the other side as well. Simple AF, but... I'm fine with it. Let's get some oak logs as well because it's very close to night right now. And I want to make sure... I, oh boy. First mishap already. My OCD is triggered. There we go. And I'm going to do the same over here. And over here. 
And then we've got a simple start to a simple home. And the only thing we need is a door and a roof. That's also quite important. Let's get started with the first one of those. Did I just make it or not? I did not make it. My bad. There we go. Door made. Let's light up the sky a bit. And... I don't think I've got sand, so I don't think we're gonna have windows yet the first night, but not too big of a deal, I think. Let's close the door and let's spend the other five seconds here on creating a roof. Uh, yes, like this. Gonna make it prettier later on, but it's a fast start, I guess. There we go. And this can go. I shouldn't mind that with my pickaxe, even though the stone one really doesn't matter too much. Can we see someone outside? A little tricky, but we've got a creeper over there, first sighting. Over there as well, and we've got some zombies looking to hunt us down, it seems. Hello, stranger. I don't think there's mobs that are one block wide, except for those little zombies that I saw running around before. But I don't think we've got those out here, otherwise I'm fucked, but... Hello, man. Don't you dare come closer. This is so scary. Fuck this, I'm actually gonna close it down. Way too scary for my taste. I'm not gonna do that. I'm quite simply going to uh, put my furnace on the ground and start cooking. How much do we have? We can make another furnace because efficiency is something that is very valuable. There we go. Iron ore. I think I'll make the other one create some food for us, but I think that's it for the first day. I ended up digging a bit of a hole in this uh, in this floor and now I have like a basement, so that's something, but something that fits in the basement is all the trash we don't need on our hand, so let's try and make a chest for it. There we go. Is that how it's done? Yes, it is. Ooh, I do remember my Minecraft recipes. Let's get this chest going. I don't think I'll need these too soon. We're gonna have our first base of operations in this spot. I actually have a bed. I forgot about the bed. Damn it, I could have slept already. Ah. My bad. That's good. We've got our bed going. There we go. Let's sleep and... I think that sets our spawn point as well. But I'm not sure about that. Advancement made, sweet dreams. Let's go for a bit of sleep. There we go. Let's take a look at that oven. I'd love to have some of that food ready. Uh, we've actually got some more here, so I could cook that chicken as well, and I will. Let's get this going. Honestly, I still think this creeper is still out here. But, I don't know for sure, so... I gotta be certain before I just run out and meet my maker. That's not the plan. I'm gonna wait one second then, put the pork chop in this furnace as well, and then we could go outside and see if we visit a creeper or if he's gone let's hope he's gone otherwise it's gonna be a pretty sad sight to see me die already let's go oh he's gone good 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 perfect totally gone as well not down here no nah, we're safe okay so plan of today we've got our little home we've got our basement we've got our chests we don't need these dolls on us so let's put that back Wooden pickaxe, I don't really need that, do I? I'll keep it with me just in case for now. I can throw it away once we notice we don't need it. I'm going to make a iron sword and iron pickaxe. I don't need that wooden pickaxe. I'm going to keep it in here for now. There we go. And I'll need two of you. And I'll just keep the rest with me just in case. But we're going to go on a bit of an adventure. But at least we've got a good spawn point right now. And um, let's get this food with me as well, just in case we get lost along the way. I need our first iron pickaxe, and that is like this. And a sword, there we go. I don't think I'll do the other ones yet. I'll try and keep the rest pretty much, yes. Let's put it in the chest, and let's get going, because... Uh, we can afford to go on a bit of an adventure. Let's go. Holy fuck! Scared the shit out of me! Uh, 
Don't blow up my house. Come on. That's a bad one. Come on, one last hit. Nope. More. I don't want him to explode. I want his... Uh, oh, yeah, it's done. Yep, yeah, I fucked it. My bad. Anyway, not too big of a deal. We didn't take any damage. The house didn't. We've got some terraforming going on, but for the rest, we're all fine. Anyway, let's go on our adventure right now. Uh, what's that over there? Is that another one? No. Oh, it's Reed! Sugar canes! Great! Love it! Got a plant that near our house, and I think... I'm gonna try and get some more iron ASAP to get a bucket so that I can get some water in or near our house. There we go. I think I'm going to adventure a bit more inward from our beautiful home. And hopefully we come by something beautiful in the meanwhile. Holy crap. Nope. Not gonna happen. Oh, I gotta make sure I can take this one in a nice fashion. Come on. Don't hit me. Come on. Yes. Fuck! Keeps hitting me. Can I go the long way around? Yes, I can. We've got a bow! Nice. No arrows, though, so... Gotta make sure I can find some arrows. Perhaps kill a few skeletons for that. We've got some feathers in our chest, so... Perhaps in the future we can make some, but we'll need some... I think flint for that. Just casually taking what's mine. <laughs> Food. Anyway, I don't think horses give meat, so I don't really want to kill them. And next to that, I also feel like whenever I've got a saddle or something like that, that I want to take one of those guys, and I want to kill as little as possible so that we don't end up having to look for a horse in the future. But there's like so many right now. It's crazy. I remember the good old days where we didn't even have horses in the game and we had to like get mods installed just to have the horses in our game. And there was this mod that introduced a Pegasus, I think, a flying horse. Oh, I loved using that, genuinely. But uh, I think there's this item in the game now. I'm not sure what it's called that you can use to, uh, to fly. But I don't know too much about it. So I guess that's something I want to explore with you guys as well in this playthrough. Some more sugar canes. I don't want to take them because we've got... A limited amount in our home base. I just need to remember where our house is. It's over there somewhere. I don't want to get lost already on the on the second day in the game. That'd be pretty sad. Fish! I forgot those existed. Oh, I one hit them, so that's easy food as well. That's awesome. Oh boy. They're all here. In the light, yes. There we go. And... There we go. Here we go. We've got them killed. Let's see what we've got left for food. Not too much, to be honest. Food goes through quickly, it seems. Let's see. Another creeper, like, we keep on finding mobs and... Nothing other than mobs. Which is not too big of a deal. We need XP and we need the loot we can get from them. But I'm not sure what I'll be using TNT for yet in the near future. So don't expect to be using that too much. Ah, wow. An ocean. That's great. It's like we didn't have that on the other side of the island. That's some coal up there. But <laughs> do I want to spend the effort of climbing on that to get that coal in the middle there? Not really. I think we've got no coal left. So... We genuinely might have to. Come on. Is there like... Is that coal? Or is that stone? That is coal. Perfect. And there's like limited effort. Look. Just climb up three blocks instead of a whole damn mountain. Only three blocks though. So nothing major. It's becoming night. Already? I swear we just left the house. Oh boy. We gotta get home now. Run. And fast. Run like the wind. It's like pitch dark right now, so I'm hoping that we find our home quickly because I'm basically running on top of the trees right now until I see a, a flat biome. But I think I'm pretty safe on the trees. So worst case scenario, we sit on these trees all night. But I totally forgot where we came from, which is kind of sad considering we just started. That looks like it's a flat biome, so 
Likely that's the area that we came from. Oh, this is quite a good tree to stand on. I have to do this. Like, I gotta do it. Options. Let's get to... Video settings? Yes, render distance to like... 32? I think my PC should survive that. Let's see if we can see our base from here. Because... I don't know where we are. I think it's over there somewhere. It's not our base. There we go! Our base! We're going home! Finally! Oh boy. We're going home, hopefully with our legs left on our body, but this is some scary descent. Please, let's not have anyone out here. Come on, let's go home. No animals down here. Just a zombie. Just one zombie, so nothing too scary. One thing I want to do once it has daybreak, first I want to kill this guy. I think we can. First thing I want to do in the morning is see if we can get some seeds from these uh, things around me here, the grass. And we can look at potentially starting a bit of a farm near the water. That would be a, a nice start to this playthrough. And I think I can do that. Yes, I've got the stuff for that. I don't need a iron hoe, so let's do it with a stone one for now. Let's get some sticks going. There we go, stone hoe. And uh, we've got some seeds already, so we actually don't need to do the old weed seed quest. It's daybreak, so shouldn't be too worried out here. I'm actually gonna go for iron first. I need iron, so I'm gonna delve a bit deeper into the basement and just try and find just some iron. I need one more iron block or something like that. And once we find that, I should be fine at, well, quite simply, getting a bucket, getting some water up here, and making an underground farm or something like that. But let's dive a bit of stone out of this empty hole here. So I decided to take out this whole area, and I feel like I'm hitting dirt here. So we might be entering the area that's near the beach, and if that's the case, that'd be awesome, because then we can, like, extend our base down here, perhaps have the farming area next to the beach or something like that or have a bit of an area right down here just next to the beach but i'm also not sure about it so let's see if we can see if this is the beach yes it is ah oh, imagine if i've got like some glass windows or glass panes just right here looking out on the beach this could be our inside of our base but i don't think i'll have two layers above it or should i i'm not sure yet but i think i'm quite happy with the area we chose for uh our first spot and I might just end up staying here mainly because I love working on flat terrain there's plenty you can do with that and it's also not super flat so that's boring so yeah we've got a lot of free space we've got a lot to build and I'm very much looking forward to uh, the rest of this adventure but for now our quest for iron has been a failure I've been digging for quite a bit down there so I think the best thing I could do is perhaps wait until the next day and then set out for a bit of a cave dive, our first cave dive, and hopefully get a bit of ores out of that and some coal and some iron so that we can settle down and actually get started with our with our stuff down here. Get a bucket, get some water, and get a farm downstairs in our base. So those are the plans. There we go. Next day, let's get started with our trip. Daybreak has happened, no creepers around. That is good. Let's close it all. Let's get some chickens in our stomach and we can start moving out because we've got quite a run to go to try and find a bit of a cavern by the side of the route here because I don't think I'll just dig down and try and find one. I need to find something that actually goes... Oh! That was easier than I anticipated. Holy fuck. That scared me to bits. Maybe down. Ah, here is the, uh, the ugly bastard. We've got some coal down there. That's oh, I thought that was a pit. That is a pit. That looked like a creeper, but it's just the shadows. I hate these like inside bits because they could come from everywhere. I just get this coal and get out over it. Then we can dive further on into the cave and get some iron because that is. Priority number one, the quest for iron. That is uh, the goal of this trip. I am gonna take this route because 
Why not take the steepest route down? That way we can perhaps... Oh, really? God damn it. Let's go back up. Ah, oh, the first cave I go in just dies out. Perhaps down here. We've got one torch already done. Oh, it's only coal, so yeah. Bit of a bummer. I was hoping for like a deeper cave or something, but... It looks like it's uh, ending here already. Let's try and find a different one on the surface then instead, but first let's take home this coal because we are gonna need this very, very much. We're level 8 already. Slowly but surely leveling up. I wonder how much you lose when you die because I know there's been an update regarding experience that you don't lose all your levels anymore to invest it in an enchantment. You only lose like two or three levels, which surprised me because I felt like it was a bit of a challenge with not dying to make sure you've got all your levels, but yeah, I don't know what's going on there, so I guess we'll find that out pretty soon. But for now, let's get this call going and let's look for a different cave on the surface because we want some iron and it hasn't been given to us yet. Perhaps down here? Ooh, nope, it's the same thing. Let's get out of this one and look further. Ooh, cows. I'm gonna take a bit of a stop here and Casually say hi, because we need both leather and their meat. Oh, there we go. Chicken, you can die as well. Like, I've entered this world and I've pretty much slaughtered the entire population of pigs and cows, so they probably ain't too happy with me. But, yeah. Survival. That is what it's all about. Come on. Stop running around. Horses, I saw something else, another chicken, yes. Anyway, cave, where are you? Oh, I keep getting distracted, like... Everybody has put these beautiful cows on my... On my route, and... I'm just forced to stop. There's nothing else I can do about it. Nothing down here, nope. Sheep, they give meat as well, so... Worth it. We started going on a cave adventure, and pretty much ended up beating animals so far so not very effective but i do see a bit of a cavern so that is good yes this is what i was looking for those look like a cow that's like some stealthy horse right there everybody thinks it's a cow let's dive right in good great start we've got some more coal that's great there we go, that's dug out. Let's continue to the other side and see if something's down here. That's a pretty big cave. That's what he said. I hear someone. There we go. Hello, Miss Zombie. <coughs> Goodbye, mate. Gonna take this call once again. Because I thought I heard a creeper, but it was my own footsteps. Oh, nope. It was someone else. Is a green man. It dropped a carrot. Oh, that's that's lit. I like that. I did not know that. That they could drop random shit. That's great. I can plant carrots now. That's fucking great. Ah, oh, goddamn bats. I'd catch you and make some soup, but we all know how that turned out. So let's try not to do that. Here we go, we've got some iron. Exactly what we needed. There we go. Iron's dug out, and we can continue. Main goal of the entire trip is already done, but doesn't mean we should stop already. Haven't found anything in this far side of the cave yet. Some more iron, great, and some more coal. Fuck. Actually, no need to use my iron one yet. I've got some stone left. Let's go to the other side. I swear this is water. Really? I saw water dripping here? Oh, that's great. She's gonna drown the entire cave and everybody in it. I'm such a good influence on this world. Some more stone and that ends up here, so that's why nobody came out of it. But some more coal, so we keep on digging. That's um, all we can do right here. Okay, that's done. Let's go back down. What else is 
explorable up there, but I think that's something really small. I don't think it's worth going up there, so bye-bye. Not gonna happen. I think I might actually head towards our home so far because we've got what we came for. And now the question is, which side is our base? Is it this side? I think it is. Because this is an open plane. Area and those are the pumpkins we saw last time. We're going to remember those pumpkins and they're going to be the, uh, the guideline towards our home every single day. Right there, in the distance, we can see our wooden pueblo and that is uh where we'll try and get a first farm going and i think that will roughly wrap up today's episode there we go i'm gonna take a look at oh we've got so much coal right now that's great i'm gonna put that in there and i'll put the iron in the other one let's take a look we can oh it's the sound of the fun it scared me to bits we've got a carrot to plant we've got wheat seeds to plant i think you can actually plant the carrots themselves and they become more carrots i think i don't know i think that's it we need a tree we've got tree and i'm gonna go ahead and do what we came for that's not what we came for we came for the bucket almost made the wrong one there we go let's go ahead and sleep for a bit and let's casually walk onto the beach and get some water I think we need two buckets, but I'm not going to actually make two buckets. I'm going to simply run twice because it's not too far anyway. And I think it's down here, so we can actually open this one up. And we are basically in our home. I recall something like a 2x2 two two square that you can make and you can create like an infinite water thing. I don't know if that still exists, but I hope it does. Is it like that? It's not. Is it like that? Nope. It's like that. Yes, perfect. That's logical, actually, thinking about it. But um, I am going to make some more tools. I need a uh, iron shovel. Because with the shovel, we can dig out that hole below a bit quicker. Let's get this out. I'm going to go ahead and get the shovel going. I think we can also afford an extra one of these, just to be sure. And we can continue digging out the bottom of our base a bit more to set up our little farm in a second. Did I put the hole in the chest? Yes, I did. I'm going to keep this as well. There we go. Let's dig this out. Let's make a bit of a farming area down here. So I'm planning to put a glass wall here looking down on our farm field. So I think I'm going to probably dig out this section so that we can make a straight glass wall in a bit here. There we go. I will need some sand for that, but we can uh, start that trip off in the next episode. For now, I'm going to close it down a bit more. And I'm casually going to set up some basic farming around this area which is just putting down dirt slapping a hole on it and then putting some seeds on it as a plan i think water goes like four wide so one two three i think this one works as well but i think we can keep it out like that for now it's not like we have an abundance of seeds anyway i think that's what we have at the moment there we go we can afford to put these four down here and finally our carrot right there there we go this is the bottom of our base our basement with the farms up here we've got our sleeping area with the chests and lastly but not least we've got our little pueblo house so uh, a great start to our playthrough and hopefully an adventure that you will like as well there we go that's it for today's episode the first episode of our adventure. Hope you liked it. If you did, tap that like button. If you didn't, tell me what's wrong. I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I guess I'll see you next time. Goodbye.